Hello and welcome back to this YouTube channel. The topic being covered today focuses on how to generate media using Google AI Studio. Within Google AI Studio, there is a dedicated option called Generate Media. Apart from this, exploring any other general tool, such as the one visible here, if a search is made for Google AI Studio, the interface opens up effortlessly. This is being shared to provide a complete and clear understanding. Without requiring login credentials or additional setup, access is granted within just a few clicks. Image creation becomes immediately possible here. In fact, this service is available free of charge. If a standard account is in use, access is provided directly. There is no need to register, create a new profile, or make any payments. Not even a minor charge is involved in accessing this feature. Direct content creation is supported right here. Now the explanation for all the models will be provided step by step. To begin with, there's the Imagine model. At this point, it might be a common question. Why not utilize the same Imagine model right here? For instance, if Gemini is selected, it reveals that Google Gemini also includes an image generation feature, this one. However, the reality here is that this tool remains limited within the Insights section. Another challenge involves a significant issue with model access. For instance, if these two models are selected, Pro models, access is available. But in case there is a need to use these models without Pro, a minor payment is required. Instead, the simpler approach is to visit Google AI Studio. Simply head to the platform and access the image generation option. From there, image creation becomes possible without complications. For example, a prompt could be something like, a horse is standing on the side of a cliff with John Wick standing next to him. This acts as the input. Suppose specific settings are to be applied. Various output quantities can be selected. Several models are also available for direct usage. Gemini 4 Ultra is one of the selectable options. Once Run is clicked, the process will begin. After a short duration, a collection of images will be generated. The tool also provides a response time, indicating how many seconds it took to create the image. So what exactly is meant by field to image here? The prompt here was blocked due to safety concerns. In response, this alternative input will be used. Hopefully, this completely addresses the issue at hand. This new prompt has now been provided. It seems that referencing a specific character, John Wick, resulted in a content restriction. Since the name is from a film character, there appear to be copyright considerations which led to its removal. By adjusting the aspect ratio, it becomes evident that with just a single click, a full, high-quality image is generated. The question now arises, how does speed generation function in this context? Here, all relevant content can be added. There's the flexibility to choose between single speech or multi-speech modes. Various speaker roles are supported. If there is a need to add customized dialogue, it can be included directly. Speaker voice automation is also available, making it easy to move into the desired functionality seamlessly. Audio can be created simply by clicking on the available option. This feature stands out as a significant one. Previously, tools such as FL Studio were commonly used for composing beats, sound effects, or other musical elements. In terms of creative tools, there was also the music functionality offered by Suno AI, where compositions could be developed using free resources. These allowed for the creation of original and impressive material. However, when looking at the pricing structure, it's clear that although a free plan is available, it only includes 50 credits. This translates to a limit of just 10 songs. Opting for a paid monthly plan tends to be quite expensive. As an alternative, this platform introduces DGMI DI, a tool ready for use. Within this tool, there is Base Nova. Once this is utilized, a full set of options becomes accessible. For example, there are choices like sparkling, arpeggios, K-pop, neo soul, trip hop, and the thrash genre. Dubstep is included. Lush strings is also available. Post-punk is listed as well as drum and bass. When these elements are selected and applied directly, a composition is generated based on those preferences. That output can definitely be utilized. The audio is muted to avoid any playback issues. However, what's important here is that it provides direct configuration options. If any adjustments are needed during the music composition, such as lowering certain elements, or if there's a need to simplify everything to focus on the beat, then the output will reflect that specific beat. This platform can be used effectively for personal music production. The entire process can be done using a full screen interface. Recording can then be done immediately and used in custom compositions. This proves to be an excellent feature among the available tools. 
Moving forward within the Generate Media section, there is the VO feature. Here's what VO refers to. A limited complimentary quota is granted specifically for testing purposes. A free quota is available to try the feature. Beyond that, additional elements are visible. There's VO2 along with a set number of results. For example, selecting to generate two results. Several video styles are listed. There's a duration setting available. Upon defining the duration, there is also an FPS option marked as coming soon. Following that, the focus shifts to Imagine and Gemini, image generation. In the Imagine section, three available models are listed. These include version 4, 4 Ultra, and 3.0. In the Gemini image generation area, multiple models are also accessible. Within each model, the classic image generation functionality is included. For example, selecting Gamma 1 gives access to its specific model capabilities. Gemini's flashlight feature is available. When accessed and used to generate an image, the result typically has a rather outdated style. Instead, using Imagine is more effective as it is the most recent tool. It launched in 2024 and remains functional into 2025. This version also comes with a range of advanced features. When evaluating its artistic quality, it proves to be significantly high. A comparison was also made on YouTube, covering the performance of Gemini, ChatGPT, and Ideogram. These three models were examined for their image creation capabilities. A link to that comparison will be added in the description, allowing viewers to explore it directly. This highlights how those three tools differ in terms of capabilities. Ultimately, Imagine emerged as the leading performer. Its strengths included detailed character design and creative output capabilities, which were utilized effectively. Looking ahead, there is an upcoming tool from Google called Flow. Flow AI is available in Google Labs. It will also be accessible for use within Google AI Studio. However, that feature will require a bit of waiting until it becomes part of the Generate Media section where it can be accessed directly. For now, several different tools are available that allow content creation. Various applications can also be built using these options. But the main focus here remains generative media. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Consider subscribing to the channel and enabling notifications to receive the latest updates. There will also be a complete boot campaign focused on Google AI. This will roll out once Google Agent Studio is officially released. Google Agent Studio is already part of the listed options. It is currently under consideration, and in the near future, it will be seen functioning within different systems. It will be directly accessible, allowing for agent creation. Since it is based on the N8N architecture, it can be developed accordingly. Hope you like this video. For more such informative video, like and subscribe to our channel.